Designing the costumes for Bond, certainly fans want to see certain things, obviously. Things like the tux, the, the smart suits. Where is it that sort of the creative flourishes come in to something like that? Oh, the, the, the creativity comes at every moment, you know, because when you get something like Bond, you get that amazing, iconic project, but in the same time, you have to update it to make it look fresh, to make it look challenging for a public who is going to see it and expect to see evening dresses and tuxedo and a gentleman in suit, but he just want to have that little extra bit <laughs> that he didn't see before. So in the same time, you have to respect a, a very successful formula, but in the same time also you have to just innovate and where to innovate and, and going further and further, you know, and trying more and more. And with a franchise like this, with, with all the action that there is in the film, how hard is it to make sure that the costumes remain in one piece? Oh, well, that's a very good, that's a very difficult thing. For the first suit of the opening sequence, we had 60 costumes. 30 were for Daniel, and each one of them is adapted. So, for instance, when we have the motorcycle sequence, the sleeves are longer. For instance, you know, or we have a special bag to be able to put the hooks. And then we have a different costume for all the stuntmen who all have a different size. And then I must say that the quality of the costume are so amazing that whatever he's doing, through water, through fire, through everything, he was standing up and the costume were perfect. So that was really... <laughs> and there is one thing I do need to know. When you come to an event like this as a costume designer and you see all these people in tuxedos and evening wear... I want you... to change them all. <laughs> I thought you might. Should I have the wings in or out? Uh, I, th I think that's fine, but if I were you, I would put a smaller, a smaller bow next time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>